Hello, my crafty friends. It is Michelle the Stamp Breaker, and I am here today with the layout for Paw Your Way Into Our Hearts. Look at that. I've been looking for this, and here it is. Okay, so, um, you know, do you ever find so lose something right in front of you? That happens to me all the time. So, this, um, as you probably know, this is a hop, and so I'll have a list down below of my friends playing along. Once a month, on the third Thursday of each month, we um, share a layout of one of our pets. So, um, I usually scrapbook Finley. And um, so, today I'm using a lot of Keep It Simple papers. These are called the Back to Basics papers, and let me just show you really quickly. Um, they come, um, you can get 16 double-sided cardstock sheets. They do have texture on them. They're nice and heavy weight, and they go from, there's kind of like three colors in each um, paper pack. So there's like a brighter one and then a medium and then it goes to a light and they are double sided and they have a nice 12 inch, um, border strip that could be used. So this is the yellow and so on this, each one also comes with these, um, punch out ephemera bits. So here's the one that is for Rose. Then here's that yellow one. And I'm thinking about punching all of these out and storing them either. I'm thinking in um, one of those uh, magnetic photo albums and um, putting them in those pages. So let me know if you would be interested to see how I end up storing them. So I've pulled all of these out from the papers and all of these um, colors like rose, royal, jade, they also come in six by nine size. So. I don't know how my white cardstock has gotten dirty, but it has. Okay, this, these are um, hearts that I cut out using that paper, but I actually used, all of these are the six by nine papers, so it's just a little bit smaller scale. Um, the purple is from the 12 by 12, because I do not have the purple yet in the six by nine. So let me show you how I cut the circle cut the hearts um let's see you know i try to be organized so i'm actually using a slim line die that is made for cards the slim line dies a slim line card and um keep it simple has the slim line dies hello where did i do it in hearts, circles, and squares. And so what's really cool, it took me a while to figure out how cool they were. Um, you can just cut out this and get a rectangular stitched area. You can turn the hearts this way or that way. You can intermix them. You could have a heart, a circle, and a square. Or you can use them like me, and since there were three of them, I put them on my die cutting, manual die cutting machine. I was able to cut three hearts at a time. Um, somewhere I have the other sets, but not now. Okay, so, and then I just thought I would lay these out in um, a linear fashion and so I used a t-square ruler um, and I made these two match and then this one um, was just offset so um, and then I tried to there's six colors 
and there's rows of sixes and so I tried to have a color in each like a purple in each column and just spread them out where they weren't touching okay so then I have this cute little photo of my little puppy dog this was taken um, going on almost two years ago, it's when we took a trip down to Houston where my son goes to school and we took puppy dog with us. And since he wasn't housebroken yet, um, we took our travel trailer and we stayed in our travel trailer. And this was, he, he's like tethered right here. Anyway, he's so cute. I, I just love this little harness I had bought and it looks like. I don't know, baby blue. So, um, I printed this photo. It's a three by four. And then I thought about it landscape and then also portrait. And I've decided to go portrait. Okay. And then I just backed it. I actually um, made these like L's. I didn't want to waste the inside okay then I took this stamp set it's with our new mason jar sentiments there's a whole mason jar that you can cut out with a metal die but so here are the stamps and so I wanted it to say you make life sweet so I stamped it out in different colors to see which color matched the best. So I just took scrap paper. This is Blue Bell. It's a retired color from Close to My Heart. Um, this was, mm, what was it? Hold on. Oh, I can't read it. It doesn't matter because it doesn't match. Okay. And then I took... Um, Blossom is this pink, and then this one is Smoothie. So, then I said this didn't match, so then it was down between these two, and since he's a boy, and I'm kind of showing the blue, where he's wearing blue, and then the first color underneath is blue, I decided to use the blue. Okay. But I still wasn't quite sure, so I went ahead. So this stamp set also comes with these outline dies. And I really like them because they are solid on the inside. And so if you have worked with clear stamps, you know it is easy to get a stamp that wiggles just ever so slightly and you know the tip is just to kind of lay it down and then pick it up if you do have a stamp like that but um i was surprised to find that because that does make it use more material but so i have a stamp outline and then i have so that is this, and I love how well these stamp. I would say they're very comparable to Close to My Heart. And then here are the um, metal dies. Okay, so I wasn't sure what shape I wanted to use, so I did cut out several shapes. And now I just have these extra for whenever I want to use this again. Now, if you notice, there are some hearts missing. So there's this set and there is this set. So after I cut all these hearts out, I wasn't really sure what direction I was going. So... I took um, some of these, um, they're about three by three pieces of paper, and I took them 
and I cut out a bunch of hearts with the scraps with these um, dies. And as you can see, this one has a big heart and then two little bitty hearts. And this, this one has three different sizes. So I just took some time and on that, I just used my Sizzix Sidekick. And, um, and then I even have some tiny little bitty hearts. And I like them better than actually using my heart punch because, um, you know, they have just a little bit more in dimension from being die cut. Okay, so, and then this is just some of the paper left over, and this is some of the punch outs. Now, these punch outs, um, I don't know if you can tell, and I'm sorry, I am filming at night right next door to my scrappy room is um, a bathroom and we are remodeling it. We, my husband mostly right now, he's deconstructing it down to the studs. And so he's made a lot of room. I mean, a lot of noise. He's making a lot of noise. So I can't make videos during the day because I can't keep him from working. Anyway, there's just these little tabs. And so what I do is I take my scissors, which of course I can't, Okay, just a moment. But I just take my scissors and I just cut it. The tabs have to be there to hold it in place, right? And you can also take um, a little um, file and you can file them down too. So anyway, I'm trying to be organized, so that's why those are in all those trays. Okay. Let's see. So, in the end, I think these are both cute, but I decided to go with the blue. Um, I still do not know how I've gotten my, my white so dirty. Okay, so I was going to put just a little bit of fun foam underneath this so that it's more level since that is several layers. Okay. Now, I was trying to make it where the colors did not touch. I don't know how this ended up. <laughs> um, I think it's because I think it was going to be up higher. Let's see. So, I kind of drafted everything just so this would go a little faster. Um, let's see. So I have a blue tab. And this is from those punch outs. And then, um, let's see. So I'm just trying to spread the colors out a little bit. These flowers are also from those punch outs from the basic. Let's see, so here's blue and then pink and and then maybe purple. But I didn't want two yellows here. So let's see. What do I need to switch out? I could put the yellow there. I could put the purple here. Basically, I'm just trying to make a um, a triangle around my photo. Now, these are also from the punch outs, so that you can get a lot of use out of them. And then I thought I took some ribbon. They have back, back to basic ribbon, and so I took this middle color and I just cut it, and then I tied some embroidery not embroidery, it's crochet ribbon. And I was thinking about putting it kind of like that. All right. Whoops. Um, let's see here. Purple. Green. I think 
I'm missing something. I'm gonna need another heart here. And then I also pulled some enamel hearts. I have them in all six of these color families. So let's see. Oh, and look, here is what I couldn't find to show you. These are the squares, slimline, and then here are the circles. So um, the squares end up being, um, it's a little bit bigger than two by two. So these would be great to um, use kind of in the same way to kind of make a grid of some sort. So I am thinking about that. You, I don't know it how you are, but I feel like there's that heart I was missing. Um, it just feels like sometimes once you get going, um, all these ideas kind of spring up. Now, sad story, I forgot to put the pin back in here. And you know, it takes a stainless steel pin and I broke the pin. It was crooked. I've had a pin on order from um, Amazon, a set of stainless steel pins, and they have been like supposed to be shipped for like weeks now. It's kind of driving me crazy. So I'm just going to attach this to this for right now. Also, this needs a little bit more adhesive. And okay, my whole point in this is that I can't get the glue out. Um, otherwise, I would be using more liquid glue right now. I know it's tragic. So I don't even, I can't even get a different pin in there. So I'm going to see if I can run some hot water in it tomorrow. So, um, these kind of tucked under. Yeah, let's see. I'm starting to hum like like I'm not on camera. It's late. And what time is it? 10.39. How about I come back when I've got it all figured out? And you can see the final layout. Okay, I am back. And I apologize again for my lighting. Um, so I did two scary things. One, I decided to add more black since I had the black here. So I did like a sketchy border around it. And then since I had a few marks on the cardstock, I decided to use my black shimmer trim, shimmer trim, my black shimmer brush and a splatter. So I tried to kind of stick with the three clusters. And then um, I took all of these enamel hearts and I put three in each cluster and I try to um, like down here there's pink purple yellow so then I use blue green and the peach kind of tried to spread out the colors um, so anyway here is my completed layout um, if you're curious about my nails, I know it's so dark. Um, these are a new company called Clio Color and they have press-ons and they have, um, also they have not just press-ons, but LED gel strips and regular strips. So, um, these are staying on so well. Um, so I'll leave my link down below if you want to check it out. They were like $15 and it came with the accent colors, which was super cool, right? So anyway, thank you for stopping by and please check out all my friends down below who are also playing along and I will catch you next month. Bye-bye.